guests and folks, welcome back. We're doing a beach edition. We've got here a bit too late. We're screwing in this cloud. We missed the sunset. Anyway, we are going for Taylor. It's a bit of a breeze. We're running out of time, so we can't find a good go. There's a lot of here, but I don't know. Anyway, we're going to give it a shot. As I said, we went to be looking for gutters, but we haven't got time. Cut them off the rig, lightly, lightly weighted. I'm just going to fracture plonk it very close. I'm not going to cast far. There is a gutter. See how we do it anyway. I'm just explaining to Billy that uh, I want you to cast just where that blue water is. Because further out where the white water's crashing, there's a bit of a sand, sand bank. It was a low tide that day, so we really didn't expect too much. But I just believe that that blue gutter right in front of us would produce some sort of fish, either a few tailor, herring, or even the odd mulloway. So we were pretty keen. We had all these theories about where to cast, and uh, <laughs> before we knew it, it was dark night time, and we started casting again. What do we do? Okay, no, no, no. I'm pretty straight again. We've got a bit of a twist so I'm trying to get it out. So what we do, you got a bigger one on this? Huh? Oh, we've put, we've put this in, watch, just put the, the very first hook towards the tail. Just use that, that movement in the second hook and that one there should go through the eye, it didn't quite make it. That's it, nice and straight and natural. That should catch your fish mate. I reckon you're going to catch a mile away on that. Okay, what do you got there, Billy? It's so dark, I can't even see what the hell's going on. There you go. You got a fish or what? Yeah. Okay, keep rolling it up. Woo! Okay, oh, he's a nice one. Walk backwards. Walk backwards. Whoa! It's a mulloway. Whoa! What I tell you, man? That's a mulloway. Woo! Juicy. Oh, look, he's just on. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it, Billy. Okay, put your rod in there. We're going to measure him up. That's a nice fish. He might be size. And then more line out. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> Whoa, there you go. So, this one here, he just made the grade. We're going to throw him back a bit small. Ah, oh, son of a gun. That there, Billy, hold it up, mate. How did it fight? Yeah, pretty good. Mull away at night, um, and we're going for Taylor. He's a small one by a long shot. Well done, mate. That's awesome. Woo! Probably one of the worst times to really film. Especially for GoPro, because the light doesn't come out that great. But we are still fishing, we cast out again. The swirl is actually not too bad. And uh, Billy, <laughs> mate, if it wasn't for me to get that hook up, that mother way would have like, Hoo -hoo -hoo. We actually kept it, because it just, just made the grade. It's our first time ever um, in size, so we are going to keep it. I heard that the small ones aren't that great eating, but we're going to soon find out. Bloody rod fell in the sand, that's a bugger. Anyway. And the sound of that ocean, waves crashing, really makes it nice and soothing. Yeah. I'm off fishing. We are going to cook up that uh, little mulloway, the little legal one. And uh, Billy's just getting up the rod. Got it? Yeah. yeah. And what we did, we actually changed the rig because it was getting too twisted before. So I put the sinker on the bottom and about a metre and a half down to the uh, to the muley as a trace. And there's no sort of twist on that. And that worked out a lot better. Anyway. Water. Yeah. Okay. Right up, people. I've got the Mulloway here. I've never tried Mulloway, 
Now the fish we caught was just the legal size, so we did keep it. Half of it went to my nephew, I don't know if he's already eaten it, he didn't share it with me. So I want to try this one, a very simple way to cook it. Never tried it before, just curious as to how it tastes. And uh, anyway, this is how we do it. I've got the fillet here, and basically I'm going to cook it in a frying pan with a bit of oil. I'm just going to throw in a dried up chilli to give it a bit more flavour. Because the fillet is a bit too big, I'm going to cut it in half. Like yay. Alright, I'm just going to lightly dust it in plain flour. And that's mainly to protect the flesh as it's cooking so it doesn't burn. Put it over here as well. Alright, so here it goes. One fillet to the nice warm oil. Second fillet. Turn this over and the tomatoes will cook up. Looks good. These tomatoes down here let them saute in the oil. I think I might just turn this one upside down. Whoop. That looks really nice. This one. So that's coming up pretty good. It's a very soft, delicate flesh, and I might just grab half of this. Yeah, it's definitely cooked, so I'll turn it off. Right, so this is taste time. First time ever. And the flesh is just so soft and flaky. It actually looks quite delicious. It smells pretty pretty neutral. That's actually pretty good. Now I was gonna say if I was to catch another one. I'd probably let it go because that's the myth, you know, especially big fish. I tell don't like taking a real big fish, um, mainly because I haven't caught many big fish, but that's my personal theory. But this one here, they call them soapies. I don't know why, because that there is delightful. Anyway, I'm out of here. You know what to do. If you like the show, take it easy. See you next time. Bon appetit. Mmm, lovely. Cheese.